Hi there, I'm Matthew Johnson, president of M3 Drone Training Zone. And today we're going to be doing a demonstration of the DJI Mavic 2 Pro uh, with the ParaZero ASTM parachute recovery system that will mount on top of the Mavic 2 Professional uh, and if necessary during flight it can be deployed and a parachute will shoot out the top, the props will stop, the drone will fall from the air, the parachute will, uh, will fully deploy and expand and will lower the drone at a um, calculated speed of roughly four meters per second. We have the parachute recovery system, we have the transmitter which will go with that. We'll show you how to set everything up uh, in another quick video. We have the DJI Mavic 2 Professional. This is the remote controller for the Mavic 2 Professional. This is the remote controller to deploy the ParaZero system manually. So this system will actually deploy, there's two ways that it will deploy. The first is uh, manually where if you, let's say, had a flyaway or for some reason you had to have the, the uh, parachute deploy, like for example in a demonstration as we're doing today, then you would use this controller, this remote controller which has one button on it to deploy the parachute manually. The other way is if the drone, let's say, were hit by a bird or a large gust of wind caused it to overturn and the uh, uh, sensor inside will detect that the drone is overturned and it will deploy the chute automatically. So those are two ways that you can protect your uh, Mavic 2 Professional with the ParaZero platform uh, attached to it. So the reason why you would want to use a parachute recovery system like the ParaZero uh, ASTM recovery system would be if you wanted to do a job that required you to fly over people specifically or if you wanted to just in general protect your asset if it were to fall out of the sky uh, for whatever reason having the parachute is going to allow it a little bit of uh, a buffer it's not going to free fall from 400 feet it'll, it'll uh, descend at a controlled rate. The regulatory component though is really what it drives a lot of people to purchase this system and that is because uh, as I mentioned it allows you to fly your drone over people and according to the regulations in Canada over people means that uh, anything less than 16.4 feet so horizontally from a from a person who's not involved in your operation normally you would not be able to fly closer to any person who's not involved in your operation than 16.4 feet unless you have something on the drone in this case the ParaZero uh, system which has a manufacturer safety declaration attached to it that allows it to operate less than 16.4 feet or over people. Normally the Mavic 2 Professional uh, DJI has a, a manufacturer declaration on it already that allows it to fly near people which is less than 100 feet but not less than 16.4 feet. So it's very valuable in itself to be able to do a lot of work. However, uh, if you really want to do something like map a, uh, a city block or do some something where you're going to be flying near a crowd of people or over a crowd of people, you'd have to get a special flight operation certificate. In addition to having the manufacturer safety declaration, you would be able to do that sort of work. So today's demonstration is going to show you uh, how the deployment works. Uh, we have a winter version where we did a deployment on the Phantom 4 Professional and that went very well. You can see that in one of the uh, other videos in the link below. So the uh, DJI Mavic 2 Professional uh, with uh, the ParaZero ASTM uh, parachute recovery system has to be deployed at 62.4 feet over uh, ground level in order to allow it the time to free fall and for the parachute to open. We would definitely suggest you if you're going to be flying over people that you're flying well above that just to allow that buffer for the system to deploy properly. Today we're going to be deploying it at 240 feet above ground level. Uh, we're here today at Drone Paradise. You can see it's a wide open field. Uh, we have we're going to have multiple drone systems that are recording this from uh, different angles. This is a complex operation that's taking place here. 
uh, just outside of the controlled airspace near Winnipeg International Airport in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We'll be deploying it from 240 uh, feet above ground level. We're going to be using this uh, new controller that Parazero has uh, released to control the deployment of the system. Uh, previously it was a different style uh, controller that uh, was a little bit more complicated. This is a very simple, easy to use, one button uh, controller that uh, will allow you to deploy the, the system uh, effectively. So it's a beautiful day today, almost no clouds in the sky at all. Visibility is fantastic, about 18 degrees Celsius. Wind conditions are quite low, we're seeing wind uh, uh, from 12 to uh, 18 kilometers an hour. Go! Is that one ready to go? Okay, go for launch. All right, ParaZero DJI Mavic 2 Professional parachute deployment. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, activate. All right, so we had a very successful launch of the ParaZero uh, parachute recovery system on this Mavic 2 Pro. Just looking it over now for any damage. There's a couple uh, bits of grass stuck in a couple places, but uh, otherwise it looks like it sustained no damage at all. I wasn't able to catch it. However, I was able to get within a couple feet of it. Otherwise though, looking at this aircraft frame and body, even the props look like they're in excellent condition still. So I would say at this point that it was a uh, fantastic success. Thank you to ParaZero and uh, all of the crew here today who helped make this a successful operation. I'm Matthew Johnson, president of M3 Drone Training Zone. Thank you very much for watching.